Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim, and here I am doing another Mask Monday. Um, this time, it's just going to be uh, under eye mask. I'm staying away from the face mask right now because I had a slight medical procedure done earlier today that involved needles in my back. Long story short, it made my entire body head to toe very sensitive with my skin. So I'm even trying to tolerate the um, under eye pads at the moment. They feel rather warm, but I'll take the warm sensation over cold sensation any day. Okay, long story short, the um, eye mask that I am using is Gold Black Pearl by Shangsbury. And it's enriched with black pearl, gold, and rose ingredients. This advanced concentrated essence helps improve firmness, smooth fine lines, reduce puffiness, and diminish dark circles for brighter and more youthful looking eyes. Um, I had already cleansed and toned my skin. And you're supposed to leave this on anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes. I'm probably only going to give it the 20 minute. Don't want to chance it tonight, you know, especially with how sensitive my skin is lately. Um, not sure if I said my intro, but my name is Kim. Welcome to my channel. Um, today is Monday, so I do like to do Mask Mondays. And right now, for the next, I'd say, month, possibly two months, uh, my cat, Sparkle, gave birth to kittens. And I, every Friday, I plan on filming, explaining um, how they're developing and growing. Right now, they're only uh, two weeks old, so there's not much filming to do. But figure a couple of weeks from now, you might get a good five, six minute video of them playing and jumping around, having a great time. Um, I can't wait to film that. Um, I also like doing unboxings. I have um, boxes coming in. They're just not here yet. I just recently opened up a box um, the other day. If you guys want to check out that channel, uh, it was Rose War Panty Power. And if you sign on to their website, they usually always have deals, good deals going on where you can save quite a chunk of money for your first box. Um, let's see. Like I said, this week, past week, has been frazzled <laughs> for me. I've had a lot going on with health issues and stress and just your every day-to-day -day life. Uh, long story short, my friend Lisa, um, YouTube subscriber, she just recently won a giveaway of mine. If you happen to be watching, just so you know, this, your address isn't on it yet or anything, but this is your giveaway. You cannot see because I hid everything. But it will be getting mailed out tomorrow. So once I have that, I'll take a picture of the tracking info. So you'll know it's out of my hands and now it's in the post office. And um, I can't wait <laughs> for you to get your package. I'm so excited. It was my first giveaway win for me. And as I videoed my unboxing of my giveaway, I decided to do a giveaway myself. So I am very happy about that. And if anything, the next giveaway that I plan on having coming up soon, hopefully, um, is when I reach 100 subscribers. That will be my next giveaway. Um, I'm a little frazzled, like I said, with having to remember things today. Uh, long story short, we uh, talked about the masks and everything. I do like to do a full face mask. Trust me, I have a huge bag full of masks. In fact, I figure out uh, the night or two before what mask I'm actually going to wear because I'm so excited. I just bought one not too long ago. It's actually a hemp infused mask. And I think I might use that one next week. Um, it looks very form fitting and it should be a lot of fun wearing that one. Um, like I said, I have an Easter box that I plan on decorating. A while ago, I saw collaborations with other ladies on YouTube, how they um, took uh, your basic Dollar Tree small mailbox and decorated it for Valentine's Day. Now, the one I have, I've had for quite a long time in my closet. Um, it's Christmas themed, so I'm going to just do it for Easter. There's no collaboration or anything. It's just one of my YouTube subscribers. Um, suggested that, you know, I would do one for Easter and show her. So I do plan on doing that. And I was also letting one of my girlfriends know, who is not a YouTuber, 
but wants to know when I go and get all the decorations for the Easter, you know, for the decorate the box because she wants in on it. So there will technically be two boxes going on. So you'll have my box being decorated and my friend will call her mayor, her box being decorated. Um, you might see her hands <laughs> about it or anything and um, hear her voice. But uh, yeah, and what we're going to do is a little battle between us as friends. So you guys get to pick whose box is better and whoever wins will buy that person each, you know, a $10 gift card to Dollar Tree. Um, looking forward to it. You know, it's something fun and exciting to do. Um, when it comes to unboxings lately, it's basically with the mail system being backed up, as soon as I get a package in the mail, I pretty much want to dive into it right away <laughs> so I can show all you viewers. Um, the thing is, I don't have a set day as of yet when unboxings would be. So like right now, for example, I have Mondays for Mass Monday and I have Friday for Sparkle Update with her babies. Anything can happen in between during the week. So it's kind of like, you know, if you want to, you know, hit the, sub, sub, bleh, cannot talk today either. If you want to hit the subscribe button um, and hit the bell, you'll know when I post a video. Um, I do have an Allure box coming up. I have um, it's a, like a skin sample box. I don't want to mention the name yet until I get it. Um, I just unboxed the Rose War Panty Power box, which was a really good box this month. Um, I have Ipsy coming, which is new to me, so I cannot wait to unbox that on my channel for the first time. And uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to all these exciting things coming up. Um, I jotted down some stuff to talk about because I know having the mask on for so long uh, and being frazzled this week, I have nothing really to show. <laughs> like last week I had some Amazon finds, I believe it was, and uh, yeah, I haven't gotten anything from Amazon in the past couple of weeks, so um, it might be a little while for that. Uh, let me just jot through my notes real quick here. I wrote down ahead of time what it was I was going to say because... The doctor that I saw today and the medicine that they give me does tend to get me feeling um, frazzled and just forgetful. So I just want to make sure I'm not leaving anything out. Uh, I would love to read this along with you guys, but you would laugh at me, especially with my chicken scratch writing going on here at the moment. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There's so much... Uh... Yes, we mentioned Sparkle and her babies. I cannot wait. Speaking of, I know I said I would post about her and her babies video taping um, on Fridays. But today, we had a little surprise. Right now, they've been in a playpen. Mama's been happy and treating them good. She either maybe heard a weird noise outside or whatnot. And I guess she didn't feel safe. Because <laughs> out of nowhere, my boyfriend's grandmother opens the door and says, The kittens are missing. I was like, what? You're talking six kittens. They're missing? Where did they go? So me and my boyfriend, we run downstairs to check. We see Mama and everything. And I'm hearing the kittens cry, so I know they're in the same room. They're definitely not in the playpen. She had them up against a wall in between a dresser that she was trying to get them under. And I'm sitting there going, no, 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 no. I'm like, Sparkle, no. You know, they're screaming their heads off. I mean, I'm glad because they're very vocal, which is a good sign for two-week-old kittens. You want them to be vocal. But at the same time, it's afraid to pick them up with my bare hands because they're only two weeks old. I don't want the mom picking up, even though she knows my scent. I'm afraid if it gets on the baby that she might push the baby away thinking, this baby doesn't smell like me. There's something wrong. So I put on a pair of gloves and I picked one of them up each at a time said hi to each of them, put them back in the playpen right in front of her and stayed, stayed with her in the room for a good 15, 20 minutes, blocked off the area that she was trying to squeeze these guys in. And let me tell you, the area is blocked off in the room where I don't understand where she planned on putting them. <laughs> I guess she just wanted them out of the playpen. The fact that it's possible the kittens could have done it themselves, but they're only just over two weeks of age. So really they're just squirming around they really aren't are their feet where they're able to get out of the playpen. So I'm pretty sure mama definitely moved them. 
But since I moved them all back, I coaxed her, fed her, um, hung out with her in the room for a little bit, and they're there. They're back in the playpen, and Mama seems okay with it. So I don't know if she's trying new things with me, saying, hey, is this okay? Or, hey, look what I did. You know, like I'm her second mom. <laughs> but I'm more happy that they're content in the playpen. At least for now, because I know two weeks from now, it is going to be a whole different story. We're going to have kittens running wild. <laughs> but I can't wait because that's when they'll be at their playful stage. We already have a, a ball station set up and like, you know, strings that they can play with. So I can't wait to film that. Um, it turns out that Mama Cat Sparkle is a polydactyl. And for anyone who doesn't know what a polydactyl is, it, uh, you basically have uh, extra toes. You know, cats are supposed to have five in the uh, five on each paw in the front and four in the back. Well, one of them has like seven or eight toes, just on one paw. That's what makes them polydactyl. They're also called like opposable thumbs, um, and they're supposedly bringing good luck. I today with picking them up and putting them back in the playpen, I've noticed at least three of them that are definitely polydactyl, like their mama, and. Uh, yeah, so many people want them already. And I'm like, you can't, I'm not going to rip them away from mom. They need to nurse with her. And, you know, she's doing her motherly duties. And I would not put that kind of stress on Sparkle anytime soon. And they're great. Just like I said, hopefully this will be the last time for Sparkle. Because she's getting fixed after this. Little does she know. Um. All right. So, I'm trying to think. These are sitting on my face very nice they're not as jelly like um i don't have a set day when it comes to like i said unboxings but like keep your eyes out um they will be starting to arrive if i had a community channel which i don't yet i would give you a heads up of what's going on um but i don't have that option as of yet so in the meantime i'm going to take these off because they're actually starting to burn my skin so, just take that off a little bit. Now, this one didn't say, let me just double check. It just says remove, oh, it does say massage serum into the skin. Okay. See, with eye masks, I really never did that, massaging into the skin afterwards. But I will definitely do this today. And I'll tell you one thing, my eyes feel a little bit more awake right now. Good. And now I can see better because honestly, my glasses, I mean, they're for distance. So when I'm trying to read close, I'm like, can't see, trying to read, going like this back and forth. It's like voodoo. It's like, hello. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is about it for Mass Monday for me. If you like what you see and you want to see more, feel free to like this video, hit subscribe. And I will definitely be seeing you on Friday with another sparkle update or before then with possibly an unboxing until then everybody be safe be well i'll see you soon bye